What can be the maximum number of sanctions a country could face? If you guessed a number in the hundreds, prepare to be surprised. Russia has been subjected to over 20,000 sanctions. Yes, it sounds astonishing, but take a look at these contributions. What's even more remarkable is that despite facing this staggering number of sanctions, Russia not only survived, but has also managed to thrive economically. So how did Russia achieve this seemingly impossible feat? What was the secret behind its resilience and economic success? Let's find out. In the face of international sanctions, Russia has demonstrated remarkable resilience and strategic prowess, defying Western expectations of economic collapse. Since the onset of the Russo-Ukrainian War, the international community, led by the United States, Canada, Switzerland, and the European Union, has imposed a staggering 21,167 sanctions on Russia. These measures aim to cripple Russia's economy, military capabilities, and currency stability. Yet the outcome has been far from the anticipated devastation. The sheer volume of sanctions, 5,441 from the United States, 3,406 from Canada, 2,880 from Switzerland, and 2,253 from the European Union, illustrates the extensive efforts to isolate Russia economically and politically. These sanctions were in response to Russia's actions in the Russo-Ukrainian War, particularly the annexation of Crimea and the ongoing invasion of Ukraine. However, despite the severity and breadth of these sanctions, they have not achieved the expected crippling effect on Russia's economy. Contrary to Western predictions, daily life in Russia remains relatively stable. Grocery stores are well stocked, prices are stable, and Western products continue to be available. But how has Russia survived these sanctions? This apparent normalcy can be attributed to Russia's deep-rooted cultural adaptability and resilience. The concept of prisposoblenchestvo, or adaptability, is deeply ingrained in Russian culture. This ability to adjust to changing circumstances has been crucial in navigating the complexities of international sanctions. Russians have historically adapted to periods of repression, upheaval, and uncertainty enabling them to survive and thrive despite external pressures. The Russian populace also has a long history of conforming to dominant power structures, a strategy that has ensured survival in times of repression and chaos. By avoiding open opposition and adapting to prevailing conditions, Russians maintain social cohesion and stability, which is critical during periods of economic and political stress. And many other economic strategies were also executed. To be fair, they benefited Russia like no one ever imagined. But what did Russia do? Amidst the onslaught of international sanctions, Russia has strategically turned to its extensive gold reserves as a cornerstone of its economic resilience strategy. With a deliberate focus on bolstering production and expanding market reach, Russia has adeptly navigated global economic pressures. Russia has emerged as a global powerhouse in gold production, securing its position as the second largest producer worldwide. In 2023 alone, Russia mined an impressive 324.5 metric tons of gold. This production volume not only underscores Russia's substantial natural resource base, but also signifies its proactive approach to enhancing economic stability amidst geopolitical uncertainties. Also, keep gold in mind, we will talk about it later in the video, as it played a major role. Anyways, looking ahead, Russia also remains committed to furthering its gold production capabilities. With annual growth targets set at 4% until 2026, Russia aims to fortify its economic foundation and mitigate the impact of external economic sanctions. This forward-looking strategy not only bolsters confidence in Russia's economic resilience, but also underscores its capacity to adapt and thrive in challenging international conditions. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. Now let's return to the gold strategy. How does gold help Russia survive sanctions? A pivotal component of Russia's gold strategy involves strategic sales to countries unaffected by Western sanctions. Nations like the United Arab Emirates and Switzerland have emerged as crucial partners in Russia's gold trade initiatives. By forging robust trade partnerships with these nations, Russia secures vital foreign exchange reserves and maintains financial liquidity essential for economic stability. The sale of gold to non-sanctioning countries plays a pivotal role in Russia's economic stability. These transactions not only diversify Russia's export markets, but also insulate its economy from the adverse effects of international sanctions. By leveraging its gold reserves, Russia effectively manages currency volatility 
and safeguards against financial disruptions, thereby ensuring a steady flow of revenue crucial for sustaining domestic economic activities. Russia's strategic focus on gold production and trade carries significant geopolitical implications. By strengthening its economic ties with non-Western countries, Russia expands its global influence and reduces dependency on traditional Western markets. This diversification strategy not only enhances Russia's economic resilience, but also enhances its diplomatic leverage on the international stage. Another thing Russia did was pegging the ruble to gold. In a bold and strategic action in 2022, Russia opted to peg its national currency, the ruble, to gold. Under this policy, the exchange rate was set at 5,000 rubles per gram of gold. This innovative approach was devised to instill stability into the Russian economy amidst ongoing economic uncertainties exacerbated by international sanctions. By pegging the ruble to gold, Russia aimed to anchor its currency to a tangible and universally valued commodity. This move was intended to mitigate the volatility typically associated with fiat currencies during times of economic turmoil and geopolitical pressure. The stability provided by the gold peg offered reassurance to investors, businesses, and the general populace, fostering confidence in the ruble's value and reliability as a medium of exchange. The decision to peg the ruble to gold not only bolstered the currency's credibility, but also demonstrated Russia's commitment to maintaining financial stability. Amidst international sanctions targeting its financial systems, Russia's adherence to the gold standard signaled a proactive stance toward safeguarding its economic sovereignty. This strategic move positioned the ruble as a resilient currency capable of weathering external economic pressures and maintaining its purchasing power domestically and internationally. Furthermore, pegging the ruble to gold insulated Russia from the adverse effects of sanctions-induced currency fluctuations. Unlike fiat currencies susceptible to speculative attacks and market manipulations, the gold-backed ruble provided a reliable store of value. This stability shielded Russia's economy from abrupt currency devaluations and facilitated smoother trade and financial transactions amidst global economic uncertainties. Looking forward, Russia's adherence to the gold standard not only supports its immediate economic stability, but also lays the groundwork for long-term financial resilience. By fostering confidence in its currency and mitigating financial risks associated with geopolitical tensions, Russia strengthens its position as a resilient economic entity capable of navigating complex international dynamics with confidence and foresight. Amidst periods of global economic instability, gold has long been revered as a safe haven asset, prized for its intrinsic value and stability. Russia has strategically leveraged this characteristic of gold to fortify its economic resilience and mitigate the impact of international sanctions and geopolitical tensions. Recognizing the enduring appeal of gold as a store of value, Russia has diligently accumulated substantial gold reserves. These reserves serve as a critical hedge against economic turbulence, offering stability and preserving wealth amid volatile global financial conditions. By bolstering its gold holdings, Russia has effectively diversified its asset base, reducing reliance on fiat currencies and other volatile financial instruments. The strategic accumulation of gold reserves provides Russia with a robust buffer against economic uncertainties and external pressures. Unlike traditional currencies susceptible to inflationary pressures and geopolitical risks, gold retains its purchasing power over time. This stability enhances Russia's economic resilience, shielding it from the adverse effects of currency devaluations and financial market fluctuations induced by global economic instability. The global recognition of gold as a safe haven asset has further amplified its value in Russia's economic strategy. As central banks worldwide increase their gold stockpiles in response to economic uncertainties, the demand for gold remains resilient. Russia's significant holdings of gold not only reinforce its financial stability, but also contribute to the broader appreciation of gold's role in preserving wealth and safeguarding against systemic risks in the global economy. And apart from gold, what else helped Russia to survive sanctions? To bypass Western sanctions? Russia has established alternative trading networks with countries like China, India, Turkey, 
and the UAE. These relationships have enabled Russia to maintain and even expand its trade, ensuring a steady flow of revenue despite the sanctions. Russian IT companies have also exemplified resilience by diversifying their business operations, maintaining a robust online presence, and adapting to fluctuating market conditions. These strategies have allowed the tech sector to continue thriving despite the socio-political conflicts and economic sanctions. Historically, Russia has prioritized expanding its borders and securing its interests by maintaining influence over neighboring regions. This strategic approach has enabled Russia to create buffer zones that protect its core territory from external threats, ensuring long-term stability and security. By exerting control over former Soviet republics, Russia mitigates the risk of encroachment by adversaries, reinforcing its geopolitical standing. Through strategic measures to counteract Western encroachment, Russia has managed to maintain long-term stability. This includes resisting pressures from neighboring countries and maintaining a strong geopolitical presence. So, Russia's ability to survive and adapt amidst severe sanctions is an example of its strategic resilience and historical adaptability. By leveraging its cultural traits, expanding its geopolitical influence, and ingeniously utilizing its gold reserves, Russia has maintained economic stability and defied Western attempts to cripple its economy. This resilience not only highlights Russia's strategic acumen, but also shows the limitations of sanctions. Do you think, in today's world, any nation can be cut off from the world? Is this even fair to put more than 20,000 sanctions on a nation? Let us know in the comment section why with such a number the sanctions failed. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. African politics, economy and increasing power. Thanks for watching and until the next video, stay tuned.